Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm gonna teach you how to play Momo's Song by iTown Gameplay. It's a very awesomely creepy tune. Okay, it goes like this. Give you a preview of the theme that plays throughout the entire song. It goes like this. And it repeats. Etc. Okay, but anyway, you can actually play another octave higher to give it that um, musical, um, this musical sound box effect. Okay, so yeah, yeah, here we go. It goes like this. Okay, yeah, but anyway, let's get right into it. So let's break it up into four parts to learn it, so it's easier to learn. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So starting on the F here, so we can see all the keys, so we don't have to play an octave higher. For, but for you, you can actually play an octave higher afterwards. But here we go, let's start on this F here, which is the F, okay, middle C is here, right? Middle C, go up an octave C, go up to the F, that's where we start on, so it goes F, down to B flat, up to D flat, up to F, G flat, F, F, E flat, C, E flat, and that is the right hand for the first part. Let's do it again, so one more time, so it goes F, down to B flat, up to D flat, up to F, G flat, F, F, E flat, C, E flat, and that's the right hand for the first part. Okay, once you get the right hand for the first part, left hand, the two chords for the first part, they are, okay, so we're doing block chords first. At the end, I'll tell you the uh, a carpenter pattern that plays. It's a really simple uh, waltz pattern anyway. But anyway, so the two chords here for the first part, B flat minor, which is B flat, D flat, F. And then second chord is first inversion of F major, which is A, C, F. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so B flat minor, followed by first inversion of F major, the two hands together goes like this, so F and B flat minor together, so it's together, F and first inversion together, and that is the first part, awesome stuff, let's do it once again, so it goes like this, it goes together, together, and that's it for the first part, okay, after you got the first part, let's move on to the second part, second part continues like this, right hand continues to D flat, D flat, C, D flat, E flat, down to B flat. Another B flat. And then it goes B flat, C, like that. Okay. One more time. So it goes like this. So it goes D flat, D flat, C, D flat, E flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, C. And that's the right hand for the second part. Okay, once you get that left hand, we have two chords here, the two chords continue on. It's first, uh, well not first, second inversion of D flat major, which is A flat, D flat, F. And then the second chord here is first inversion of E flat major, which is G, B flat, E flat. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so it's second inversion of D flat major, followed by first inversion of E flat major. The two hands together goes like this, so D flat and the chord together. B flat and the next chord together like that. And that's the second part. One more time, it goes like this, together, together, like that. Okay, back to back, the two parts will be played like this. Check it out, so it goes. Sounds awesome already. Let's move on to the third part now. Third part, right hand continues, goes B flat, and then B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F. And then down to A, B flat, C. And that is the third part. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes B flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F. Down to A, B flat, C. And that's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, two chords here, the other two chords are uh, first inversion of E flat minor, which is G flat, B flat, and E flat. It's a fully black note chord. Okay, and then the second chord is second inversion of B flat minor, which is F, B flat, D flat. So a lot of inversion chords, that's the main thing that's kind of difficult in this because a lot of inversion chords for you to remember. But anyway, the two chords one more time, it's second, uh, well, first inversion of E flat minor, then it's second inversion of B flat minor. Okay, 
there. So with these two chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, so B flat and the chord together. Next, F and the chord together. Like that. One more time, it goes like this. Together. Together. Like that. Okay, so back to back. The three parts we've learned in this lesson, we'll play like this. Check it out. some stuff let's move on to the fourth and last part before it repeats okay right hand continues to the d flat e flat c d flat down to the e up to c down to e flat up to a b flat c d flat e flat okay this fourth part i will redeem it to be the hardest part of the uh, theme because a lot of jumps and stuff okay it's continuous as well there's no breaks it's like a chain of notes right here okay so one more time it goes like this it goes d flat e flat c D flat down to E, up to C, down to E flat, up to A, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. Yeah, so a lot of jumps, that's the hard thing about it. Okay, so it's like da 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 Yeah, the jump from this part, da 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 da, that's the thing you have to practice because it's like multiple jumps in a row there. So da 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 And then there's a turn there as well. Okay, so it's like da 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 so after you get the right hand for this fourth part, the difficult right hand here, then you can do the left hand, the left hand chords, okay? We have a four note chord here, it's E diminished, which is E, G, B flat, and D flat. And then the last chord is F major, which is F, A, C. Okay, so these two chords in mind, so E diminished, followed by F major. The two hands together goes like this, so D flat and E diminished together. E flat and F major together. Okay, one more time, it goes together, together, and that's it, back to back, all four parts will be played like this, check it out, so, let's repeat it. But anyway, after you get this, then you can start applying left hand pattern, the waltz pattern, which is really simple. Waltz pattern, okay, remember to count this in uh, triple beats, okay? So in the whole song, it's always one, two, three, one, two, three, throughout the whole way, right? So it's always one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. So apply that pattern. What you do for all the chords, right? You play the low note followed by the high two notes for two times. So it's like a waltz pattern. One, two, three, um, pa, pa. But apply it for every single chord like that. Even for this one, the four note chord, just play the lowest note, follow up the high three notes for that one. So, like that. Yeah, and then applying to the two hands, just be play like this. Well, it's a bit harder for beginners because this requires a bit of hand independence because the left hand is kind of doing its own thing as well. But not really, it's just like a substituting into the formula of the chord. So, like this. So yeah, it takes a bit of practice to get that and then after you get that you can put it an octave higher to make it sound more like the musical box version like this. Creepy. So, pretty awesome theme for you to learn and play. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Go ahead, uh, check out my other piano covers on Itown Gameplay songs. I've done quite a bit in the past as well. Did like a bit, 
uh, FNAF songs from iTown gameplay as well. And yeah, there's done a lot of other songs like from everywhere else, okay? So go ahead, check out my, the rest of my channel. I literally have multiple thousands and thousands of other videos for you to enjoy and learn from. Also, if you want to learn more about how to play like me, how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other stuff, then go ahead. You can learn it from my website, from my piano courses. It's linked in the description below. It's called bestpianomethod.com. So check it out. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.